Atlanta Public Schools is dotting every I and crossing every T before the fall semester begins. The incoming superintendent hosted a virtual town hall earlier tonight in English and in Spanish on what classes could look like during the pandemic. Tracy A. McPeer is breaking down the possibilities. Our goal remains the same, and that is to be able to safely reopen our schools in August of 2020. But APS Program Director Sherry Forrest says that could look many different ways, and the decision is based on many different things, like the levels of community spread in Fulton and DeKalb counties over the next few weeks, and guidelines like these from the CDC and the Department of Public Health. Right now, there are five different scenarios. There's 100% virtual, and there's traditional face-to-face, -face, which would require no or low risk of COVID in the community. Then there are three different hybrid models. Hybrid one uses A-B days and a 10-day rotation. Hybrid two is a tiered approach that gives face-to-face -face instruction to younger children and English speakers of other languages, and also to students in transition years, like entering middle school and high school while maintaining virtual learning for everyone else. The third hybrid option is a phased-in approach that starts as virtual for all students and ends as face-to-face -face for all students. Incoming Superintendent Dr. Lisa Herring says their focus is on education, but in this time of COVID-19, health comes first. But to make a decision that is governed and guided by health experts, as well as the best instructional practices that we're able to do, is also critically important. And that was Tracy Amy Peer reporting. The school district still wants your feedback. So there is a survey that's available online until the end of the month. The final decision will come down in mid-July.